yesterday with sadness and gratitude and with prayers for him in Lincoln, we said farewell to Bishop Stephen. We will do well to treasure his legacy of love and care for one another. And now the process is underway to discern who will be the next Bishop of Ely. The Vacancy and Sea Committee, chaired by the Dean, Mark Bonney, will work to draw up a statement of needs and there will be wide public consultation with the National Senior Appointments Advisors. You will hear more about that in the autumn. Our Vacancy and Sea Committee will elect from among themselves six people, three lay, three ordained, who will join six people elected by General Synod and the two Archbishops. Together, they will form the Crown Nominations Commission, whose task it is to shortlist and interview for the next Bishop of Ely. The interviews are scheduled for July 2024, after which it will be a few more months until the new Bishop will take up their post. Until then, I shall be the acting Bishop of Ely and will continue to support our work. Of course, I continue to do this together with the Archdeacons, the Diocesan Secretary, the whole Diocesan team in ministry, mission and education. And most importantly, with you, in the parishes, and chaplaincies and schools and communities, wherever it is you are serving. Together, we shall continue to seek and serve God's will and care for God's people. Our help is in the name of the Lord. That is our hope and our strength. I wish you all a splendid summer and please make sure you find time to follow God's commandment and rest as well. May I invite you to join me in prayer. We praise and thank you, God of the journey, for all your gifts to us in the past. We look to you as fellow traveller and faithful companion on the way ahead. Strengthen us by your Holy Spirit and guide us with all members of the Crown Nominations Commission as we seek to discern who you are calling to be our new bishop, that together we may serve you as generous and visible people of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you.